Hello, alumni, and welcome back to Piper Academy, where we dive deep into the crypto world one project at a time. This is your weekly segment of Crux's Curriculum, where I evaluate a project, and today we're dissecting a heavyweight in the blockchain arena. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of a cryptocurrency that's been innovating and breaking barriers since 2017? Stay tuned as we break down Cardano and evaluate this project on our unique 5.0 GPA scale. Show up and show out. Where you at, Ada Gang? Cardano is a groundbreaking layer one blockchain that has received a great amount of speculation on its future outlook. It is not just another digital currency, it has a revolutionary approach to decentralization, aiming to create a more secure, transparent, and sustainable blockchain ecosystem. Cardano claims to be a decentralized third generation proof of stake blockchain platform and home to the ADA cryptocurrency that has been designed from the ground up by a team of top engineers and academic experts. But how does this project stack up against the rigorous Crux's curriculum rubric here on Piper Academy? Great question. It's time to dive in. Cardano's vision is ambitious, aiming to balance privacy with regulation and sustainability with growth. It is not just about creating a cryptocurrency. It is about building a platform that can change the world. Their goal? To empower individuals and transform societies. Now that is a vision worth analyzing. So here we are. Cardano visions a world without intermediaries in which power is not controlled by an accountable few, but by the empowerment of many. In this world, individuals have control over their data and how they interact and transact. Businesses have the opportunity to grow independent of monopolistic and bureaucratic power structures. Societies are able to pursue true democracy, which is self-governing, fair, and accountable. For this unselfish goal and ability to have others buy into their vision, I give Cardano a 4.5 out of 5 as they have proved to be successful in integrating into the lives of individuals, businesses, and societies to promote a positive future. The idea of actually integrating self-governance into modern societies is captivating. We are off to a great start, Cardano. This brings us to the next section, use case. Cardano is a hub of disruptive innovation for industrial use cases using blockchain and smart contracts such as DeFi, authenticated ownership, digital identities, Internet of Things, gaming and entertainment, manufacturing, marketplaces, oracles, supply chain logistics, tokenization, zero knowledge and privacy preservation, and much more. If there is a use case for crypto, Cardano is looking to build that solution. Personally, I would like to see more total value locked, also known as TVL, to see how much the community really stands behind this ecosystem. Indigo leads the charge in TVL, which is a collateralized debt position application like MakerDAO, among other star projects such as the leading decentralized exchange, MinSwap, decentralized lending platform, Liquid Finance, and decentralized stablecoin, DGED. For this hub of opportunistic applications, I give Cardano a 4.5 out of 5. I need to see more TVL for a top 10 cryptocurrency, as there are many projects outside the top 100 in market cap, such as Manta, that have more TVL locked in their ecosystems. The team is led by Charles Hoskinson, one of the five founders of Ethereum. Yes, you heard that right. Charles Hoskinson joined the Ethereum team in 2013 and for a short period became the CEO until he was forcibly removed by the Ethereum team in 2014 over a dispute with Vitalik Buterin on whether the project should be for or non-profit. Hoskinson went on to form IOHK, which is an engineering and research company created to build cryptocurrencies and blockchains with former Ethereum colleague Jeremy Wood. IOHK's key prospect is Cardano, and it is important to understand them as separate entities. The IOHK team outside the two founders have nine executives that are also looking to build a brighter future. Cardano's team is a blend of experienced academics and industrial professionals. Their rigorous research-first approach ensures that Cardano isn't just built on hype, but on a foundation of peer-reviewed scientific research. For this, I give Cardano's team a 5 out of 5 as the founders were both involved with the creation of Ethereum and created a massive following to buy into their vision. 
The community led by the Cardano Foundation is a collective force driving the adoption and development of the Cardano blockchain. The foundation itself stands as the backbone of the community, dedicated to overseeing the development of the ecosystem, ensuring regulatory compliance, and driving adoption. It acts as a bridge connecting Cardano with the broader world, educating and engaging with the stakeholders to foster a sustainable and growth-oriented environment. Through its leadership, the Cardano Foundation cultivates a community that is informed, engaged, and empowered to contribute to Cardano's vision. Every ADA holder, which is a native token for Cardano we will talk more about shortly, is more than just an investor. They're an integral part of the Cardano ecosystem. Holding ADA isn't just a passive act. It is an entry ticket to actively shaping the network's future. By staking ADA in a wallet, you are not just earning rewards, you're contributing to the network's operational success and enhancing the pool's reward prospects. If you have been in crypto for a while, you will notice that this is one of the strongest communities around. For this prospect, I give the community a five out of five. Cardano's native ADA token is designed with a clear use case in mind, fueling the network. With the cap supply and a strategic distribution model, ADA's tokenomics are crafted to ensure long-term viability and encourage network participation by providing rewards on its original proof-of-stake network called Ouroboros. Ouroboros processes transaction blocks by dividing chains into epochs, which are further divided into time slots. A slot leader is elected for each time slot and responsible for adding a block to the chain. To protect against adversarial attempts to subvert the protocol, each new slot leader is required to consider the last few blocks of the received chain as transient. Only the chain that precedes a pre-specified number of transient blocks is considered settled. This is also referred to as the settlement delay and is the mechanism through which the ledger is securely passed between the participants. Cardano validators and delegators earn rewards every five days for monetary expansion and transaction fees. Monetary expansion is funded by the reserve, which is part of the ADA not yet in circulation. Rewards are distributed with 20% going towards the treasury for network development and 80% to staking participants. ADA has a max supply of 45 billion with 35 billion circulating as of today. Initially, 25.9 billion ADA was sold and 5.2 billion was distributed among IOHK, the Cardano Foundation, and the Mergo, which we'll talk more about later. At this launch, 31.1 billion ADA was available, with 13.9 billion reserved for staking. The current monetary expansion rate is 0.3% per epoch, or every five days, leading to about 2% annual inflation expected to decrease over time as transaction fees become the primary reward source. With this built-in design, I give Cardano's tokenomics a 4.75 out of 5. Cardano's roadmap is a clear, transparent guide to its future. With each phase meticulously planned, Cardano is not just dreaming big, it is executing a detailed strategy to achieve its ambitious goals. This is being completed in a five-phase design, which started with Byron in 2015 and launched in 2017 when it introduced the ADA cryptocurrency and the Ouroboros protocol. This period also saw the release of Daedalus and Yoroi wallets, emphasizing community growth and technological innovation. The Shelley era marks Cardano's transition towards a full decentralization, moving from a federated network to one increasingly run by the community. This phase introduces a delegation and incentive scheme to enhance the network participation and security. Shelley aims to make Cardano up to 100 times more decentralized than other blockchains with the goal of establishing around 1,000 stake pools, setting the foundation for future growth and development in subsequent eras. The Gogan era introduced smart contracts to Cardano, enhancing its capabilities with the ability to create decentralized applications. This era allows users of varying technical backgrounds to develop functional smart contracts using Plutus, a specialized language, and Marlowe, designed for technical users to create financial contracts. Additionally, Gogan introduces a multi-currency ledger, expanding Cardano's utility by supporting new tokens and facilitating complex smart contract interactions. The Basho era focuses on optimizing Cardano's scalability and interoperability, enhancing framework performance for high volume applications. It introduces sidechains to improve capacity and allows for new features without compromising the main chain security. 
Basho also plans to support multiple accounting styles, increasing flexibility and use case, positioning Cardano as a highly resilient and adaptable blockchain platform. The final era, the Voltaire era, will transform Cardano into a self-sustaining system, introducing a voting and treasury system that allows stakeholders to direct the network's future development. This era emphasizes community governance and decentralized decision-making, ensuring Cardano's evolution is driven by the users, moving beyond IOHK's initial stewardship to a truly community-led framework. Honestly, I've looked at the many project roadmaps, and to me, this is the clearest I've seen of any of the projects. Great job, Cardano. Five out of five. Decentralization is at Cardano's core, aiming to eliminate single points of failure and promote a more democratic blockchain ecosystem. Their Ouroboros protocol is a testament to their commitment to a decentralized future. Shelly's era started on Epoch 208 with the Shelly hard fork, which in simple terms means switching from the protocol Ouroboros BFT using Byron to the newer Ouroboros Preos, the protocol that enables stake delegations and stake pools. With Shelly, every stakeholder has the right to participate in the protocol producing blocks. You can choose to run your own node, which is a private stake pool, or alternatively delegate your stake to a stake pool, which will act on your behalf when you are elected as the slot leader. Since the start of Shelly, more than 3,000 pools have been registered and are already producing blocks and generating rewards for the delegators and themselves. With the amount of pools continuing to grow, I give Cardano a four out of five for decentralization. With the future completion of Voltaire, IOHK will release stewardship and improve this score. Security is paramount for Cardano. This layered architecture separates the settlement layer from the computational layer, enhancing the security. Plus, their emphasis on formal methods and thorough peer reviews sets a high bar for blockchain security. Ouroboros features mathematically verifiable security against attackers. The protocol is guaranteed to be secure as long as the 51% of the stake, in this case ADA, is held by honest participants, which in addition to other novel concepts is achieved through random leader selection. The protocol continues to evolve through new iterations and rigorous security analysis. For this innovative and dynamic approach to security and the fact that Cardano has 100% uptime since its release, I give security a five out of five. The Basho era focuses on enhancing Cardano's scalability and interoperability through optimization. Key developments include introducing sidechains for increased capacity and new features, and implementing parallel accounting styles for greater flexibility. This era aims to elevate Cardano's performance, ensuring a robust growth and adoption while maintaining network security and reliability. Hydra is a layer two scalability solution for the Cardano blockchain, designed to enhance the network's capacity by producing transactions off-chain while leveraging the main chain security model. It works by creating multiple Hydra heads, which are off-chain state channels, allowing groups of users to transact rapidly at a low cost. Each head can process transactions in parallel, significantly increasing the network's overall throughput. While exact transaction speeds can vary based on the network's configuration usage, Early simulations of Hydra have suggested that each head could potentially handle up to a thousand transactions per second, also known as TPS. With multiple heads operating concurrently, the network could theoretically scale to handle millions of TPS depending on the number of active heads. Emergo, a key player in the Cardano ecosystem, drives adoption and develops commercial opportunities by integrating businesses into the blockchain. Operating globally, it supports sectors like finance and healthcare, offering blockchain education and fostering partnerships to promote positive change. With Hydra and Emergo leading the way, I give scalability a four out of five as a centralized source releasing its impact after the Voltaire era could give this a perfect score. Cardano has partnered with many notable names such as IBM, New Balance, and many notable countries like South Korea and Ethiopia to help with real world utility. Cardano Foundation has set out to help African nations leverage blockchain technology to foster socioeconomic development across the African continent. This initiative aims to address Africa's pressing issues such as identity verification, financial inclusion, and efficient governance by implementing Cardano's decentralized, secure, and scalable blockchain solutions. By collaborating with local governments and organizations, Cardano Africa seeks to empower individuals and communities, drive adoption, 
and catalyze sustainable growth, ultimately transforming Africa's digital landscape. Another Cardano native project called World Mobile has a vision centered on enhancing global connectivity and digital service access, utilizing blockchain technology to narrow the digital divide. Its core features include Adela Prism for securing digital identities on the Cardano blockchain, the World Mobile app offering a range of digital services and economic tools, and the innovative World Mobile eSIM for affordable global roaming. Together, these elements aim to create a more inclusive digital world, empowering the individuals with access to essential services and connectivity. With unique innovation into real world application, I give Cardano, wait for it, a five out of five. Overall, I give Cardano a 4.68 out of 5. As I dove deeper to learn about this project, I became even more bullish as I read. I am an ADA token holder since 2020, and I have a high future outlook on this project. This project has an interesting price history pattern. Oftentimes, speculators call it a stablecoin due to the long consolidation periods. However, when it pumps, it moves. It has performed exceptionally well, especially the years following each of Bitcoin's halving events and typically lags the first half of bull markets. Currently, Cardano is sitting at $0.74 cents and has an all-time high of $3.09, which is a 4x from today's price. In 2017, Cardano went from under $0.02 cents to $1.18, which is a 59x from bear market lows. In 2020, Cardano went from $0.02 cents to $3.09, which is 155x, while reaching a higher high during Bitcoin's 2021 double top. With this kind of price history, we can only speculate that Cardano will obliterate its all-time high in 2025 and multiple X's past that. I wouldn't be surprised to see a $10 ADA late next year. Let me know your thoughts on what price ADA will top out and when. Each Saturday, we host an X space with a Q&A if you have questions on this project and want to discuss what I've mentioned in this video. Join one of the fastest growing Discord communities as I publish all this information on our Discord server as you can compare Cardano with the other projects I've already evaluated. If you are fascinated by Cardano's journey and want to stay on top of the crypto world, then don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell icon and get your weekly dose of Crux's curriculum as we continue to dive deep into the crypto universe. That's it for today's deep dive into Cardano. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, Keep learning because knowledge is profit. Remember, keep Crux's curriculum close because chaos can come calling. This is Crux from Piper Academy signing off. Catch you in the next episode.